hand and all of them. I just whispered the GM and don't even bother with the roll because it's better that way. Mm-hmm. All right then. So last time we uh, ended off in the middle of Goblin Town. Actually, we weren't quite in Goblin Town. We were in the suburbs of Goblin Town. It's still not a nice place to be. Welcome back to Goblin Town. You're about in the center of the area, though. Jeeb should have a wide enough area to be able to find everything easy enough. I don't stand that plane. I feel bad for uh, people without dark vision in these places. Um, actually, it's yeah, it is worse for people without dark vision. But I do have dim light coming down in several places. So, all right, I need to have Bowyer and Wargs out. Because that's what you're fighting right now. And my snack for today, because it is so amazing, uh, Starburst jelly beans. They release <laughs> them for your round thing. All right. And Wargs. Those things are pretty fantastic. Anyway, since for where we were, it is currently Falana's turn in the middle of things, and Falana probably should spend some time trying to catch up. Because the goblins were smart. Surprise, surprise. With their intelligence of seven, they were somehow smart. They're eight at worst, ten at best. I don't actually put any random into my character stats. <laughs> oh, I don't. Yeah, I don't do anything random in the character stats. I'm just saying I don't remember what they are. Oh, they are actually ten. Yeah, so they're about as smart as an average person. All right, straight out. Going to use both actions to run here. Okay. All right, so that's up. Next, we get to F the forest. I don't wanna. And nothing happens. Oh, come on. That we can see. (laughs) Just nothing happens this turn. So it's the Warg's turn. I call for a (laughs) re-roll. Oh, you want a re-roll, really? (laughs) Use your GM inspiration on it. (laughs) The forest has inspiration. (laughs) All right, so first of all, Lily, were you seen, actually... You can see the two Wargs off in the distance. Yep. A goblin hops out from the trees on top of each of one. Oh, fun. And it's the Warg's turn, so the Warg's can move... Alright, guys, kill the goblins as fast as we can. So he's going to be able to move... Aren't our Warg's a bigger brat? Yes and no. Mm. Alright, and they kind of try to encircle (laughs) Lily as best as they can. Lily and Cassidy as best as they can. So then... It's pretty good, considering. Yeah, the three goblins who are currently have bows. They're gonna shoot... Two of them will shoot at Serena, one will shoot at Falana. So the one that's gonna shoot at Falana first will miss pretty terribly. Pretty terribly. The ones that are gonna shoot at Serena... Both of them will also miss, but not quite as bad. Both of those would have hit Falana. (laughs) And now the wargs, as they all go in and try to... Oh, who are they going to try to eat? I think t- two of them are going to attack Cassidy. I see and... none of this. Yeah, you don't see any of this yet. The first one that attacks Cassidy will miss. The second one that attacks her will hit. And I don't have Cassidy sheet up. I should have Cassidy no, sheet up. No, Cassidy, no. So Cassidy... I just see random arrows from the darkness. Yeah, you see random arrows coming at things. So Cassidy now has to pass a strength save. Oh, and she will pass her strength save, so she does not fall. But she still takes 10 piercing damage as the warg tries to bite her leg out. And the other two are going to try to attack Lily. Mm-hmm. They get advantage, right? <clears throat> yeah, they would have advantage. And first one's going to hit. And the second one's going to hit. Uh huh. So she's gonna take fifteen damage. Cool. And you have to pass two strength saves. Or is that a check or a save? I wrote down check. I'll assume save. Either way, you're gonna pass the first one, but you're gonna fail the second one. So, so I'm just gonna. Off. Yeah, I'm just gonna see you get knocked off and end up there. Okay. You're no longer in Cassidy. Prone. Um, it would knock you prone, so I'll say yeah. Alright, and now it's Alana's turn. 
Okay. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Do I see anything now? So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. And then I'll go down here for thirty. Yeah, you see what's going on now. Yeah. <laughs> and that'll be it for Alana's turn. Next up is Lily's turn. Lily is currently prone. Lily's gonna stand up. Okay. Um so she's no longer prone. And she's going to attack the nearby goblin. Okay. And okay. uh hold up. She's going to I don't I don't trust a twelve, so I'm gonna use precision. Okay. So that's probably going to hit. So that's a 16. The 16 will hit, and you spear the goblin through the chest with your sword, and he's knocked off dead. All right. And uh, that's all I can do. All right, so Cassidy's turn. Cassidy is kind of surrounded and not having the best of time. She's going to attack the warg next to her, this one. Uh, which one? This was her sheet over here. I have so many sheets open. <laughs> <laughs> and she is going to bite at the uh, warg there. And that will hit, doing nine piercing damage. And let's see if this warg will not fall prone, or will fall prone, because that'll be good for you. So the warg then has to pass a strength save. It is a save, good. Strength save up here. And the warg will fall prone. What happens to the and goblin? I I'm going to say the goblin like falls off in a comical fashion. Crush like the the warg, the warg falls to the ground, and the goblin just kind of rolls along the way a little bit. You know, I will, I will have him take damage for that. That makes sense. <laughs> and I'm going to use this one for prone, I think. And the goblin's going to take one d4. So I have a d4 right here. He's going to take one damage. And that'll be it for Cassidy's turn, because she's kind of surrounded completely. So, Serena. I'm just going to say the goblin's prone. Okay, so... Let's see here. Hey, wasn't Serena a little bit further ahead? Or No, no, she wasn't. I used her action to move, for to move forward and then do an attack. Right. Well, you can get there. Yeah, you can stand on that goblin's body. I will desecrate the dead! You don't care about goblins. They've already proved themselves to be assholes. Okay, and... Oh, God. There are wolves everywhere. There yeah, are. there are. They're kind of surrounding. Yeah, there are wargs everywhere around Cassidy, just nipping at her. Okay, stab.exe. Yep, all right, stab it. Stab it, stab it, stab it, stab it, and it's the right. one sword. And I'm going to move God damn it. to the back. That's like a miss. miss. That is barely a miss. So you go in with your longsword, you try to stab at the warg, but it's you barely miss it, attacking it-wise. Flana's up. I'm going to use something I haven't used yet. All right. Kind of madness. Ice knife. Ooh. Ooh. That could potentially work. Where are oh. you attacking? Right, right here would hit three of them. Uh, that yeah. too. Yeah, attack. That'll work. So draw the attack. And I'm going to read it and see if I can make a judgment on this. Five feet radius. Yeah, I know it's five foot radius. It's just, I don't know if it's you pick a point or if it would be five foot from the creature itself. Yeah, I'm going to go from the point she's targeting since it's so large. Mm -hmm. So that will hit the war. Not to mention it is a targeted as well. So. Yeah, so that will hit the warg, so he will take eight piercing damage as the knife of ice impacts him. And then he has to dodge, so warg dodge first. So that warg has to make a deck save. He will make it. Other warg has to make a deck save. He will make it. Goblin has to make a deck save. Goblin will make his save. What? So no full damage. At, aren't they at disadvantage for being prone? Oh yes. Uh, if you're prone, you don't. You have disadvantage. They passed it with disadvantage. It's, uh, it's a death save. So. Well, the first one would have failed with disadvantage because he was prone. So he's gonna take 13 damage, and as it explodes, the warg just kind of collapses dead in a pile of frozen fur and 
kind of fury. The goblin on the ground, he doesn't have much health. He dies as well. As the ice just covers over. He's now got a goblin's skull on the ground next to him. The other warg will take a decent bit of damage, though he avoids most of it. Um, no cold damage no cold on damage. safe. Oh, no cold damage? Yeah. Okay, cool. Six. <clears throat> all right. So, yeah, that's all there is to it. I, I missed that again. So that's Falana's turn. So next up we have F the forest. Dice, dice, dice. Cool. All right, where's dice? And I rolled that one. What is that one? One, two, three, four, five. Um, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> there is pain. A goblin pops out. Right about here. And he will chuck a mushroom at Casty, and it will land about here. Or he'll throw it at Lily, actually. Of course. Yeah, he's going to throw it at Lily. And he pulls back and he throws this purple mushroom at Lily. And when it hits the ground, it starts to erupt in a, a cloud of spores, covers everything within a five foot radius of Lily. Lily, roll a constitution save. Cassidy will as well. Cassidy oh god. Natural one. <laughs> you rolled a natural one. And I got a roll for the two wargs that are in range. I, I have advantage on this, right? No, and both wargs make their save. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So the only one it affects is the one it was thrown at. Yeah. Lily? You're small. Yay. So as the mushroom hits, or as the spores kind of start to land on Lily. She starts to shrink a little bit until she's about probably three feet tall. Um, you'll have disadvantage on strength checks and your attacks will deal 1d4 less damage. Okay. Uh, I'm surprised everything else passed that. That was kind of funny. So now it's the uh warg's turn and the surviving archer is going to probably try to shoot at Alana. Tibbs. Uh, and it will hit Alana. And surprise, Alana will surprise. take three damage. Can I oh, still use brain. these heavy weapons? Jeeves. Jeeves. No. Jeeves, please don't talk like that. Please, don't. Yes, don't talk like that. <laughs> so to answer if your you question, act... yes, no. you will be able to use the okay. weapons. You're going to do 1d4 less damage. Okay. Um... Mm, actually, it changes your stat size. I'm going to allow... You're just going to do 1d4 less damage, and I... Mm, I'm just going to, yeah, use 1d4 less damage. I'm not going to worry about it too much. So, Warg next to Lily is going to attack her with a bite. Nom, nom, nom. It will fail to hit. The other Warg next to Lily will attack her. Bite. Nom, nom, nom. Actually, that first one would have had advantage, wouldn't it? Probably. Yeah, because it is technically on opposite corners. So that first one actually would have hit and dealt nine damage. Okay. And the second one... Actually, no, it would have still missed because she's got a higher AC than that. My, my apologies. And the second one would also have missed. I forgot Lily has a... Why did I think her AC was lower than that? And the last one will attack Cassidy. And the last one will... Because her body changed and not her armor, so she would have yeah. technically not oh, be big in her armor. So that's going to do... That was a crit on Cassidy. So it will do... 14 damage to Cassidy. As it just kind of goes in and it rips off part of her leg. Now it's Alana's turn. Um, let's see... Let's meet, let me just check distances. That's right. 50, 45. What's the spell range? I should have checked this earlier. Hmm. Sorry. I didn't write down this. Oh, right there. 120 feet. So, yeah, I could do this. Um, Scorching Ray. Uh, All right. And what three ones are you attacking? I'm going to put two of the first two on the warg and the last one on the goblin above Cassidy. Alright, so the closest warg and then the goblin above Please. Cassidy, or all of them yeah. on that one? All, both of them on this warg and one of them on the goblin. Alright, so the first one will miss outright. The second one will hit the warg, though the damage it takes is rather negligible. But as the last Scorching Ray 
catches the goblet in the chest and it knocks him off and he falls over dead. All right. And 5, 10, 15, 20. I'll just move over here. And... Oh, yeah. And as a side remark, so I don't forget to do this more, while you're no longer near the... Like our wild arcane energy you felt by that first pond, you can still feel that there is a slight radiant arcane energy in the air around you. All right. And? And that's all that's happened so far. All so right. you shot the goblin, it's Lily's turn. Okay. <clears throat> so Lily is. Uh... Hopefully not permanently small, because this will probably not be good for it. Oh yeah, I didn't actually say that. Um, I don't actually know how long it may or may not last. But she's going to attack the uh, the guy to her left. Okay. And, and on, top that of that, on top of that, she's going to use another superiority die to... Uh, you say I just have disadvantage on strength checks? Yeah. Okay. To trip attack? All right, so that's going to do 16 damage. And I have to pass a strength save on the warg. Strength save. And he falls prone. And she's also going to use second wind. Oh, my yeah. goodness. This yeah, girl. it is. It's kind of convenient. So the small lily, it's like shrunken as she is. She takes her um, great sword around and she hacks at this warg's legs and unable to deal with such a small foe despite the fact it's used to dealing with goblins its legs just cave from under and it falls prone it's not dead it's prone I hit the wrong thing <laughs> it is not dead it is prone my apologies alright and that'll be it for Lily's turn Cassie's turn she's seeing that Lily has done a good number on that one and since she is technically flanking it thanks to Serena Lily, or Cassie is going to turn and try to eat the lower warg get rid of the advantage on Lily that would be great and she'll hit doing 7 damage not enough to kill it she had advantage but, on that right yeah let me actually roll again to see if she would have crit she would not have crit I gotta change her things around a little bit so yeah it falls prone I think it's already prone so nothing more happens and that'll be it for its turn so Serena you can kill a warg which war do I need to kill? The one, right, the one in right in front of you is on its last legs on the ground. Okay, this should be easy then. Watch as Serena fails horribly and gets murdered somehow. <laughs> yeah, so Serena, she lifts up her war or her long lifts up her war hammer. She'll draw back her long sword and suddenly war, war, for war for, suddenly suddenly war hammer. War for war hammer makes total sense. Yeah, so draw back her longsword, and she'll stab it right through the warg's head, and it twitches a few times, then it just stops moving. Warg's dead. Suddenly, Warhammer. We RTS now. <laughs> Alright, so the warg is dead. You're good for now. Or you can still move around and do a bonus action. Uh, so, it, so I can still move around, then probably... Cassidy ain't doing so great. I wouldn't worry about healing Cassidy, though. Mm. And I'll probably move to flank. All right. There. Okay. okay. I'll end turn. Yep. And next up is Falana's turn. I should make a thing to say really small. Let's get to that one. Also, the minus one d four was part of my roll. I don't know if you noticed that. I didn't actually notice it, but I didn't actually look. So thank you for being honest. Um, uh, just, uh, what, what, what kind now, of said that was? I'm going to actually avoid magic for now. I'm going to play Archer for a little while again. For Warg and for Serena. Alright. Well, it was intended to be part of my roll, but I don't actually see that it rolled a 1d4. Um, um, so do you, want me to, do you want me to roll 1d4 or does it not matter? Um, it, was, it had like two health left when Serena went up to attack it, so there's no way it wouldn't have died from her attack. Okay. All right, so Falana is pulling back with a longbow and trying to shoot this other warg here, and the arrow will shoot true, and it will embed itself in the warg's thigh, and it kind of scree like roars in pain as blood spits out, but aside from the arrow and its leg there, it's still doing pretty all right. 
All right, force time. F the woods. F the woods. Oh, this is gonna go swimmingly. I feel. What did I roll? Ooh. <laughs> if we get any smaller, Lily's gonna be swimming in puddles. All right, so you see another goblin. He will pop out. Oh, where will he pop out? He'll pop out over here. And you see him kind of carrying a big yellow mushroom in his hands. And he will chuck it, and it will land, oh, about here. At Lily again. Someone really likes these mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, have to pass a wisdom save as it lands, and more spores erupt around the ground. So pass a wisdom save. Oh. And Cassidy has to pass one as well. Wisdom save. And the warg will have to pass one as well. Wisdom Silver, are you trying to come clean about a mushroom problem? <laughs> no. And everyone passes their save. So as the spores engulf around the uh, three of you that it hits, you feel a deep sense of fear in your bones, but you manage to fight it off and continue to face your enemies. Oh god, the shrooms are scary. And now it's the warg's turn. So the warg, this one up here, is going to flank around, or move around to flank. And the one... Oh. Hmm. Can't really do much. So they're... The one's obviously going to attack Cassidy. Let me go down here, and I should really do this. Uh, if I do that right, whatever. So the first one misses. There it goes. Now it's done right. So that'll miss outright, and the other warg will turn around, and I think the way I worded that means it is required to attack Serena. So yeah, it is going well. to attack Serena. <laughs> Would you and mind? it will hit! Go ahead. Yeah. So the warg turns around and it just tries to bite at Serena's arm. Um, tries to bite at Serena. It gets a hold of her arm and it just kind of rips back, taking a good chunk of, like, some of your armor's a bit messed up and it just kind of takes a good chunk of uh, flesh with it as well. You take 12 damage and pass a strength save. Would you mind uh, setting the dead wargs to the bottom so wait, that we yeah. can see the ones on top. Did the warg... Awesome. Oh, wait, Thanks. no. Yep. The the warg on the bottom, I just realized this. Since Serena has that shield to de deflect all hits to her, did uh, any attacks go through go through before that this guy died? No, I don't believe so. Okay. Not, while, not while Serena was next to it. Okay. I just wanted to check because I just remembered. Okay. Oh, oh, hey, good. The pop-out sheet actually works now, so I can actually... Yeah. Alright, so strength save? Strength save. Okay. And God you fail your strength save. You are knocked prone. Yay. <laughs> Thankfully, prone is not nearly as bad in 5th edition as it is in every other edition. Yeah, it's not. So you are knocked prone for this turn. So next up is Alana's turn. Um, Since Alana seems fairly safe over here, she's going to Eldritch Blast that guy. All right. Can't I'm just Blind waiting ball. for a crit. Just that shield is just going to redirect a crit. <laughs> oh, wait. Since Serena's in range, shouldn't, shouldn't all the mushroom attacks kind of hit her since all that? That's... I don't think I'm ruling that for range attacks, and the mushrooms aren't actually attacks either. Yeah, they're just like... They're just, <clears throat> just, just skip me. Yeah, that, the Eldritch Blast missed, so... Alana tries to set forth an Eldritch Blast at the warg, and it just goes wide, catching some low-hanging branches. Lily's up Goblin, again. Goblin falls from the trees. He at least Will got something. Would you allow me to jump on the warg's back and try to stab it in one turn? No. You would, would... have to pass an you acrobatics have... to get up there, an athletics to hang on, and then do your attack at disadvantage. <laughs> and all of that should be at disadvantage because at least small. And actually, at least the actually athletics to the... hang on. Yeah. Uh, she's going to scamper through to this side here. Alright. And because she can scamper now. Yeah, she can scamper. Uh, let and me she see. will hit. I don't think there's any question of that. That does include the 1D No. I've got a minus no. 1. Yeah, I see there. the minus 1. So. I see a minus 1 at the very end. How did you even add that so quickly? Uh He's used to working with the sheets, so yeah, I'll assume that's in there and I won't worry about it too much. Can I do a test just to check? Go for it. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's minus two yep, there. Yep, it okay. works. Okay, so um, so with that, she's also going to use her trip attack. All right, so the trip attack, you add that in, so it has to pass that DC or be tripped. And it is tripped. It goes prone as nice. Lily cuts another warg's legs out from underneath it. And it will take another seven damage. And this warg, as it falls to the ground with a thud, you can see it kind of squirming a little bit, but it is bloody and bleeding. Yes, I know. It is, <laughs> yeah, it's bloody and bruised. It looks like it wouldn't take much more to put it down properly. Casty's turn. Lily is now tiny enough to really go after people's legs. And the crotches. Yeah. Cassidy is going to turn around and try to just finish off this warg that's on the ground. So Cassidy will attack, and she will hit, doing eight piercing damage, which is enough to kill it. This warg is dead. Serena's up, and there is one warg left standing. Uh, Serena's just probably going to stand up, so does that require any... Um, that side? is half of your movement to stand up, so you still have 15 bit of movement. Yep. Okay. So In other additions, it would be your full movement, and you would provoke attack of opportunity. Yeah. Well, so everything's around her is dead, so she, she's yeah. just fine. Alright, so Serena's just kind of annoyed. She just got bit by a giant fucking wolf. So let's try Guiding Bolt on the one, on the one that's still alive. Yep. Alright. Hey, crits and crits. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Yeah, so um, uh, so if you could put in, there should be a checkbox for second attack roll. Could put that in for guiding bolt. That'd be nice. Um, attack roll? Okay, I did. Yeah, yeah that allows you to help for um, advantage and disadvantage, so it's already in there. Yeah. So standing back up, Serena calls down this radiant light of energy, or this radiant light, and the trees above seem to part for a moment as this bright light comes down upon the war, and it just seems to... It doesn't quite burst into flames, but from the way it's like screaming and roaring in pain, you think it feels like it probably is. We're all here like crazy. As the light finally starts to fade, it looks like this warg is already on its last legs. Hold on. I just bought this goddamn armor. <laughs> <laughs> And the server is fucked, so now I'm uh, now I'm all yeah. There, it's all a little messed up. So moving there and taking a shot. Yeah, the server's being a little messed up, so it might take a second before I see any of this. Okay, yeah. I saw you move. Yeah, you don't fuck with Serena. She doesn't purchase. And the shot missed, so the warg is still fine. Okay, f the forest. Boob Good shroom, boob shroom. Bo there is no boob shroom. Oh come no. on! There is. <laughs> <laughs> so remember what you were just saying about that shiny armor? Uh-oh. Oh, oh goddammit. Another goblin pokes his head out of here, and he will throw a orange mushroom at Serena. Make a deck save. Oh, God. I'm calling it crit fail. Well, you're oh, no. to half, right? <laughs> All right, Serena manages to quickly dart out of the way as this mushroom hits the ground and explodes in a cloud of spores, and the spores seem to quickly latch onto something. You see one of the arrows left behind from the goblins, and the spores quickly latch onto the arrow, and it seems to more or less eat away at the metal arrowhead. Quick question. Uh, Serena's Berger armor... Is salvaging that arrow. Is Serena's armor magical? It is not. No. Okay. No, remember, the dwarf did not have magical armor, but also, oh, right. yeah. This is yeah. actually kind of bad, because if Serena loses that, that's a whole shit ton of money that wasted. <laughs> and now the final war, he kind of roars in annoyance and pain, and he tries to just bite at Cassidy one last time, and he will hit, and he will do six damage. And does Cassidy fall prone? Cassidy... We'll fall prone. Take it out, take it out. Yep. And the warg isn't going to do anything else at the second since it's kind of wounded and everything else, so it's Alana's turn. Since it just got beaten down by a giant radiant bolt of fire. Yeah, that mm -hmm. almost one-shot it, to be honest. Yeah. If, if she hadn't crit failed, if she hadn't rolled three ones on the crit damage, then... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, wait. that will... See the Eldritch Blast. We no, managed to hit the warg. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I, uh, it probably doesn't matter at this point, Earth. 
Uh, yeah, it doesn't. I, I just yeah. realized because because uh, Falana would have had a ba- advantage after that uh, guiding bolt because on on hit next target. Yeah. It wouldn't have man- ha- mattered because oh, it has an AC of thirteen. Okay. That's yeah. Fine. Yeah. No, that, it would have had. It would just had disadvantage on its attack. It still managed to hit Cassidy with its disadvantage on the attack. Sorry, I'm. Still oh no, that's right. Never mind. I, I had that backwards. It still hit anyway. So the Eldritch Blast does hit. Um, it strikes into the side of the warg as it topples over to the side. You can just see it stop moving. It's dead. All right. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. She'll just move over next to Cassidy. All right, and you can still hear cackling and laughing all around you, but it kind of got a little quieter and it kind of backed away a little bit. And it seems more like their goblins are laughing at the fellows who have died than anything. Can we oh, attempt to take a short rest? Here, we could attempt. You could attempt to. Do you want to take a short rest? No. Uh, see, here's the thing. If if we take a short rest, then Lily becomes awesome again. If we don't, Lily is at a severe disadvantage. We're so, already at a severe disadvantage because every so every couple of seconds, goblins are going to throw shit at us. We're not going to be able to stay here and do any kind of Well, we rest. can wait a couple of seconds and see. All right, so you're going to wait a few minutes? For now, so, so I'm gonna assume everyone's just gonna kind of move into more of. A, I'm gonna have, get rid of all the bodies. Cover ourselves with the wards. Turn yeah, them I'm into gonna like get rid of all fortress. the bodies here, so they're not in the area. Feral Meat fortress. On we're we're turning the wards into a meat fortress. All right, so I'll just assume you're gonna have cover from using the wards as a bit of a shelter there. So okay, now Cass- I feel a little better about this now. Yeah, so you're going to rest there for a few minutes, and nothing happens immediately. You, like, you can see up in the treetops around, like, here and here, there's a few goblins that kind of poke their head out, and you can see a few of them have a bow. One of them seems to have another mushroom in his hand, so they're watching you, and you can kind of see them speaking with one another before they disappear back into the trees. Can we, uh, can we stick around and see if we can get a rest? You going to try to take a short rest? Okay, but Serena's going to be looking very carefully because she doesn't want to. She doesn't want to lose you. <laughs> Let's Serena stick around. Where she is, yeah, Serena going to be where she is currently. Uh. Or is she going to be in the middle of the meat fortress next to Cassidy? Probably in the middle of the meat fortress. All right, Let's move her to where she's going to be. At least long enough uh, to see whether or not someone tries to hit him, and if no one tries to hit him, then we can take a rest. And if people do try to hit him, then we can move at that point. So, All right. like, so I don't want to have no 50 feeling. of these <laughs> F this forest things coming at us. That kind of thing. Yeah, so you're going to be there for probably about five minutes or so when you suddenly hear laughter to the side of you right yeah. around here, and you see another mushroom flying right here at Cassidy. So yeah. Cassidy, Falana, and Alana will all have to make a... This is a pink mushroom. You all have to make a wisdom save. Oh, God, pink. Oh, this is not going to end well. No. No. <laughs> no. Oh, <geez>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, as the mushroom comes down and the spores kind of... Pink spores erupt around the party and Cassidy and Falana both have the spores land on them. They, kind of, they breathe them in. They start coughing for a second. And their entire bodies, like all their movements, seem to slow down. Alana is able to cover her mouth and get out of the way soon enough and fight off the spores that have attached to her body, so she's fine. As for Cassidy and Falana, they're both... So... They're both their what? Speed, they're slowed. Their speed has been halved, and they can take no reaction, and they can either take an action or a bonus action, not both. Lily's going to gently pet uh, Cassidy. All right. So, do you still want to stick around here, or do you want to wait for the no. goblins to get something worse? No, we're not sticking around. I refuse. We're going. I'm going to eat, bur- burn some heal some, uh, some burn some spells to heal people up. Don't worry about healing Cassidy. I already yeah. went out at her. Just to be don't side. don't because once the wild shape disappears, she's back to her normal self at In full health. Feet. Yeah, whatever oh, health she okay. went into it, so she'll be fine at that point. Okay, so, all right, then I guess I'll pop a healing on myself then. All right. Well, the, the other side is it does burn a beast shape, so. Yeah. At the same time, though, you don't know how long you're going to be in there, so you might as well just wait it out for that. So was um, Falana still going to use her heal? Falana already used her heal. 
Who is it on? No. Not going to use it? I was going to use it. I'll cancel if you don't want me to. I'm she was going to use it on Cassidy, but... It's not as important to heal Cassidy up right now. Yeah, well, Serena's below half health, and I don't feel comfortable leaving her like that. Yeah, so. you should. That's you good. can heal up Serena. That's like Cassidy right God now is actually probably in one of the best conditions after everything. Just, so just take Lana's heal. It's already out there. So take eleven HP. Yeah, I'll give you both of those. So you'll have eleven or plus eleven HP. You'll be at twenty-five. Well, I was like eleven, bitch. That lost me three HP. We're not, we're not that bad at healing. All right. So for a quick second, everyone make a perception check. Oh, no. Um, Lily's still tiny, right? Small? Um, it's only been about five minutes, and she is still tiny for the time being. Uh, and I don't have any kind of cure. Yeah, I don't have a cure spell. All right. Reception. All right, so... The only two of you who are able to detect anything would actually be Alana and Falana. So the two of you, however, are able to tell that while there is laughter from goblins all around you, it actually seems to be a lot quieter, like there's no real goblins laughing in this direction. And of course, in the far distance, you can see it looks to be like a pile of bones and almost like there's a number of small mushrooms growing down there. But you can hear goblins laughing all around you to the north and further on. I was actually going to suggest we, we head down to this uh, southern area and explore it. Yeah, yeah, you can hear down. that there's like less goblins in that area. Like you don't hear their loud cackling like you do to the north. So we want to head on there. I'm all set with that. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, for now, I'm going to be willing to move everyone to about hereish to start off with. Okay. Um, the slow will have worn off. It's not a very long slow. So, like, the, um, Cassidy and Falana feel their body start to moving faster after probably 30 seconds. Lily, you're still small, but you can, like, feel almost like you're almost... Um, I said almost a lot. Feel like you're starting to work through whatever those spores did to you. So, it might be a matter of time until you're large again. All right, let's just keep heading down this way, I guess. All right, All so, right. yeah, I'm Hold gonna on. say... So, should take point. Yeah, I'm gonna say initiative order for this as well, so you can, like, move into where you want to be, but don't go past the start of this doorway here until you do anything else. All right, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move here. He said okay? initiative order, but yeah. Yeah, so I'm... No, you can start, like, move to wherever you want to be for the start of this. Just oh. don't move past okay. this doorway here. So however yeah. you want to be walking into this, you can start off like that. All right, Serena's probably going to be up front, so... Yeah, all right, so... Yeah, so we can do initiative order now. So let me just put everyone back in order since... Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm going to move Cassidy back down to the bottom. All right. So Alana can move first, if she wishes. Yeah, why not? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25... 30... Is somebody making coffee? No, I don't know. I, I hear wish. Some, I hear a bubbling noise, like some, like either some light yeah. scratching or light bubbling. All right, um, I'm gonna wait for everyone else to get in here more before I describe what you're seeing, Alana. All right, so I'll just sit there. All right, so next up will be Lily's turn to move in. All right. <clears throat> just gonna move up that far. All right, Serena's turn to move in. All right. So... It doesn't hurt also to move yourself a little bit at a time as vision changes. Well, there's a door over here. Right. Yeah, and it's. I'm going to describe everything as everyone walks in, so it's just Flana to walk in now that Casty's run in. Oh, I see dead people. Yeah. And now that everyone has walked in, the area you look around, you can see that there are two dead goblins on the ground and two dog-like beasts next to them. In the background, you see a... It almost looks like a woman, but her skin seems to be like a greenish, and her hair as well seems to almost look like leaves. She sees the party's approach, and she mutters something in Sylvan and then quickly disappears into a nearby tree. The two dogs... Yes, I know. I'm going to tell you what Falana heard. Because I know that there are people in the party who understand Sylvan. And the two dogs, they disappear for a second, and then they reappear all the way over here, and they just start running off in the distance. Lily's going to call out, We come in peace! 
Yeah, she's already gone. Ben Sullivan, wait. And as all right, so as for what she heard, it's like um, she would have heard more come, retreat, or more Trump, get back. And as Falana called out after them, you see the woman seems to stop as she gets near to a tree, and then she steps in anyway. But you'd be pretty, but you could pretty easily follow what direction the dogs went, even though they did teleport. Uh, do we All hear right, goblins? There are no goblins in this area. You do not hear anything in this southern area here. Well, it's going to suggest Ooh. we take a rest. <laughs> like, you can kind of hear them nearby, and you can do a per quick perception check for this doorway off to your left. I'm expecting some of you are going to analyze that. Yeah. Yeah, Serena's is going to check that first. So, perception. All right. The doorway there. I want to roll one for Cassie as well, since I expect she would probably be able to figure something out like that. The doorway there, Falana and Cassie. Also, good thing they actually both passed. They look at the doorway and they pick out a few minute details. First of all, all this wood looks like it was grown in a way to block off the passageway, and looking beyond it, it almost looks like there's the edges of spider webs in the cracks. And nope it really feels like there is not something right on the other side of this. Like, it was blocked off for a reason. Are we going to take radiant damage from touching it? No, you're not. <laughs> but, you, like, the doorway itself looks like it was rather hastily made, and it doesn't have that much power behind it. If you wanted to, it probably wouldn't be that hard to force your way through it, but... So is there radiant damage coming through the door or radiant damage coming from there's the door? There's no radiant damage. There's no, no, there's no radiant oh, damage. No radiant, like radiant whatever. Yeah, exactly. there's nothing on it. It's just like a wooden door. Okay. Yeah, Lily's mm -hmm. going to suggest again that, that we take a rest because, uh, you know, if, if that tired. dryad thing wants to come back, you know, it's probably not going to help if we run after it. Lily... Yeah. Lily, stop. Lily, okay. D just come up with a better reason than you have hops for the drive. You just want to be able to kill things, right? Yes. <laughs> that too. Okay. All right. Just so... follow it for now. We should be okay. We can find the resting spot afterwards. So is Flana going to follow that direction anyway? Yes. Yeah, Serena's probably going to go after that. Well, I'd really tempted to open the door, but it feels like a stupid idea. You know, if let's just think about it for a second. If, for example, that dryad is actually against us, it'd be really good to go with full strength. And since it's currently running away from us, you know, we're not exactly going to uh, uh, instill confidence in it. And if it is an ally, you know, it was heading in that direction, so we can go and get her afterwards. But if we take a rest now, we've already gotten five minutes into the rest. If we take a rest now, then, uh, you know, we can talk to her at the end of it. You know there's more on the way, and we won't be fully rested if we don't seek shelter. Let's head this way now. That way we can find a good place to seek shelter. And, Ser and Serena would also uh, would also go, nah, because it's not it's not smart to wait around with it. Where they're, because the goblins might just not be laughing. Like, go goblins aren't, aren't bloody hyenas. They aren't going to laugh all the time if they want to sneak up on you. And beyond that, you do know that there apparently have been goblins in this area, because when you came in, you saw that the two dog-like creatures there were apparently trying to eat these goblins more, so like they just killed two goblins that got close. So, yeah. You do at least share a common foe, it seems. Yeah. Well, she could just be protecting, protecting her spot, and the goblins are just as much intruders in her eyes as we are, so it's probably not smart to go, go up against it. I still think but running after something that uh, is running not away running. from us might not be a great idea. But uh, let's see what happens with the next initiative round, then, at least. All right. So you're moving further in? Yes. Yep. So I suppose you two already moved? Oh, wait. Yeah. yeah. I know Falana moved, so I'll allow you pretty much free movement if you're heading towards the area and get close. Yeah. I'll put it back at the top. Okay. Yeah, and Cassie will be walking closer, sniffing the ground, sniffing the air. Lily's yeah. going to spend this entire time not straining herself. So if she can sneak in a rest, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> James, you're just trying to you're just trying to power game here, man. Yeah. 
And as Cassidy gets about this close, she'll kind of just sit down and wait. Okay. And the dryad at this point will pop out of a tree down here and look at the party. She has a club in her hand, but it isn't drawn in a way to appear hostile. More of that... There's just goblins everywhere, so she's being armed. She's holding it. Da- she's holding it down. Yeah, she's holding it down at her side, not like in a position to attack. And you can see off yeah. to the north there are the two dog-like creatures. And they kind of seem to be, like, blinking. Like they're there one second, and then the next second they're off, like maybe ten feet to the side. Hey, it's almost wolf. as if there's some kind of uh, blink dog or something like that. But what kind of creature would ever exist like that? Come on. All right, and at this point, the dryad will once again speak, and she'll ask. Who are you? Why are you here? In Sylvan? She'll ask that in Sylvan, yes. Okay, okay so Serena's going to be completely lost for all this conversation, so... I th- in Sylvan. I think is only- not used to not being able to understand languages. <laughs> yes. I think um, Falana is the only one who can speak Sylvan. She is indeed. Alright, so, Falana, what was your answer? We're... Some adventurers who came seeking a magical artifact in the area. We're also here to deal with the goblins that may be infesting this forest. Any assistance you can provide would be greatly appreciated. And the dryad seems to stop for a moment and thinks, and she'll respond in Sylvan. A magical artifact? What is it you seek? Well, and she seems interrupt. very... She seems very wary when she says that and almost guarded, and like the blink dogs seem to stare at Fawana more intently at this point. Well, it's going to interrupt and say, see if it speaks common. Fawana's going to move closer and draw out what the wigate looks like on the ground using her staff. All right. We're looking for this. It's known as a wigate. And. Or wayfinder, sorry. Yeah. And she'll look at the um, symbol that Fawana drew and. She'll tilt her head confused, but she answers, No, I've seen nothing of that. Um, but you're you're here to get rid of the goblins that infest our forest? Yes. They disgust me in their own way. And at this point... For it, but, she can't, but Serena obviously wouldn't say that because she doesn't know what the hell's going on. Yeah, and at this point she will also look around at the group and she'll start responding in um, Elvish. You're all here to get rid of the goblins in this forest. Is there any aid we can provide? Uh, Lily is going to look up at this because she actually speaks Elvish. And uh, let's see. She said, is, is there any way to prevent us from these mushroom effects? I'm not supposed to be this tiny. And she'll look at um, Lily for a second and she'll kind of just laugh in a... It's almost like a, like a bird song type of laugh. Oh, that mushroom does not last long. It should likely pass. I do not know ways to stop their effects if your body is not strong enough to resist it, though. My body's plenty strong enough. I just let my guard down, that's all. And she'll address the group as well. Um, You all look rather exhausted at this point. If you're truly able to help get rid of the goblins, I could offer my small glade here as a place to rest as long as you do not intrude too much and she looked more at Serena mostly at her metal armor with a slight note of dislike but she makes no comment of it I mean Serena can just sit out uh, Serena can just sit here it's like she, it's not like a note of intense like like she hates Serena or anything she just doesn't really like metal armor Lily's we would do the same thing for we yeah, do the same thing for Lily and the other like other leather or other metal armors that she sees. Well, Serena could just would... Serena could sit here anyways and just keep watch. Yeah. So we yeah. would appreciate the chance to rest here, but we wouldn't want to intrude too much. And she'll just respond at that point. We've already lost so much of the forest. If you're able to defeat these uncoth brutes who have polluted it, it is no intrusion at all. Lily will bow a little and thank her and ask her if she knows any healing magic for her friends. And she'll nod a little bit and she'll hold up or she'll hold out her hand and in it you see there's probably 20 um, small berries. Do these berries berries. look good? They look rather good. Hmm. Not the best, but they look pretty good. Man, I wanted some best berries. (laughs) 
All right, Lily is totally voting for a short rest. <laughs> yeah, so a short rest in this area. Serena's yeah. Serena's yeah. fine with a short rest now, since now there's more people to keep an eye on. And it's, so yeah, but Serena so, will just sit here just to not piss off the triad. Yeah, you're not actually pissing her off or anything. Well, like Serena still doesn't want to. Serena's just doing it to be safe. Yeah. All right, and around this point as well, Cassidy will shift back into her normal form, and she'll just kind of sit down and rest against the tree as well, thankful for a proper chance to rest. So who's taking the good berries? Um, I figure whoever could need them could take them now for some healing if they wished. All right. Uh, each one's 1 HP, right? Yeah, right. each one is 1 HP, and there were 20 of them. I would say Falana should go to full HP because she has still pretty low HP. Yeah. So how many good berries would that be? Six. Six. Don't forget we can also use hit die. We can, but uh, we can also save our hit die too. So. Yeah, do also keep in mind that this is a rather safe place to rest. If you actually are at any point and you do need to come back for a rest, this would probably be a safe place to do so. Um, Serena, yeah. how many how many points down are you from full? Uh, from max, yep. uh, I'm down eight. So you want to take eight of them? <clears throat> eight what? Good berries. Each one's one HP. Uh, it's certain, like she doesn't need that many. Like she, she can, she'll take like four. Yeah, except we have fourteen, and we don't. Oh. We're not going to use them all. Okay, then she'll eat them all. She'll eat all as, as many as she needs. All right, Lily's going to take one, so that leaves enough for Alana to get to full. That'll be three. And I figure you can just have Cassie take one as well. That way, you don't have to eat today. Yep. So everyone, everyone uh, is now at full HP. Yep. And you have your uh, short rest for whatever you might get back from short rest. I Yay. think that's just going to be Lily's shenanigans at this point. So many shenanigans are back. So many of her shenanigans are back. All right, and you're going to rest there for the hour, and you can kind of hear goblins moving around in the distance, but nothing ever gets close to the little glint. It's it does not seem to be much. Like for a forest of this size, um, Falana especially would probably consider there to be more fey in an area like this. If there's so few fey, it's kind of strange. Lily's going to ask the dryad first what her name is, and second, you what the crap is going on in that doorway that's blocked off. Uh, her name, and she'll kind of look at Lily tilting her head confused for a second, a proper name. Uh, we do not have one that would translate properly into your name. I suppose the easiest would be of Rose. Rose? Yeah. That's a pretty name. I like Lily better, but Rose is pretty. Yeah, yeah. Um, and <laughs> you asked as well what was behind that blocked off gate there? Mm hmm And she'll kind of look a little sad and apprehensive at that point, and she'll answer, that was our proper Gwade, along with a stone statue of the ones who helped protect this forest in ages past, but it has been infested with spiders and other creatures. Well, it just so happens that my friends and I here are really good at dealing with evil creatures, so uh, do you want us to clear the place out for you and, and help you get your forest back to normal? And at the uh, suggestion there, she'll kind of stop and she'll be thinking for a moment. It's like, do you... And she'll speak to the blink dogs for a second and they don't really respond back and she'll do this in Sylvan so Falana can understand that if she asks the blink dogs if they think that this group is actually capable of defeating the creatures in there Best and the part blink is she can read off their emotions for response so it's even more amazing. yeah and the blink dogs they seem to they look over the party for a second and they'll slowly nod eventually and she'll turn back to Lily and not herself if you honestly believe that you could do it I can open up the passageway for you if you were able to clear our glade and the whole forest as well that would be incredibly kind of you Lily says that she would love to help as much as she can is there anything that they that uh, the dryad has that she can give them in some sort of uh, compensation for their efforts no payment necessary and I'm assuming, like, Falana is going to try to cut off Lily as Lily is asking this, but the Dryad yeah. nonetheless will kind of think for a moment. Uh, the only thing that we could even begin to offer you, and 
we would still offer you this so that you might be able to better clear out the forest. Our grand statue holds the thorn of the forest. With its aid, you might be able to clear out these small creatures that are infesting it. Thorn of the forest. Lily's going to ask for more information on that. And the dry just kind of, it's a tool used by the one who helped protect these forests in ages past. An ancient device, or an, an ancient weapon. A weapon. All right, guys, let's go get that weapon. But uh, since a lot of like kind of grew up in the area around here, would she have heard any stories about something like that? Roll Maybe. a history, since this would be something you'd hear in the past. No way yeah. that Lily can. And it's, oh, it was not Thorn of the Forest. It was Fist of the Forest. Fist My apologies. Forest. No Fist way that forest. Lily could do a history, would it? Lily wouldn't have been around oh. this area. She wouldn't have known like little okay. lore stories. Um, Alana, you feel like you've heard the name before, and it was like some popular weapon of a ancient. It wasn't a dried, but some ancient fae who sought out to protect these lands and the forests as they were being grown in ages past. But beyond knowing it's this weapon, you can't really figure out much. All right. Or remember much. So then you're finishing off your short rest. So again, you've got everything back that you would have gotten back from your short rest. You've already used the good berries to heal up, so you didn't need to use your hit die. And you're going to be going off into this area up here. So I'm going to be willing to say that the whole party is just going to go up there right now, and I'm not going to. Before I forget. Yep. What do you What do you want to do before you forget? Lily's going to take this goblin head as she walks by and stuff it in the bag holding. <laughs> All right. Oh right, because we're getting paid per goblin. Yeah, we're getting head. paid per goblin head. I, I feel. Are like... you gonna take both goblin heads or just the one? Uh, I thought that was an orc. Yeah, both goblin heads. No, oh, yeah, but they're all... both goblins. Did we take all the goblin heads from up there? With the I'm gonna wards? figure why you were building this. Um. Yeah, while we're building the fort- building this fortress of flesh that you would have taken the goblin heads. I'm so also considering. I'm also belie- believing that we didn't need to take all the goblin heads because we're probably going back to go going back the way we came. Right, so, but we do get paid per per head. Uh, that's what right. six yeah. heads. Yeah, that would have been no, because two more goblins jumped down on them. So I'm going to say you have eight heads now. Eight goblin heads. All right, and all right. after the rest, you all come up to this area here, and the dryad moves up to the trees, and she puts her hands on the trees for a second, and the ones blocking this pathway start to disappear. And I gotta get to the layer, lighting layer. And it opens up to a new passage. And inside already, you can see tons and tons of spider webs everywhere. And the dried at this point will turn to the party and wish them well on Elvish. And she'll disappear into a nearby tree and return back to her glade. Oh, Lily was gonna say something, but Lily was gonna say if, if she had something like fairy fire or, or some simple spells that would be helpful as long as she stayed back out of the way so she wouldn't get hurt. She but. does, you, like, you can tell that she does not want to go near the area. It's like the entire thing itself, it's unsettling to her. There's, it feels like almost from her expression that there's more than just spiders in here. Okay. Arachnophobia and some demon thing. Okay. Alana's going to ask if Falana could start, like, firebolting the webs, maybe? No, that would set the forest on fire. Yeah. It may, it may not. All right, no, so dryad. I'm willing to say uh, you can also bear, re-roll bear. your initiative order. Ro- re-roll initiative? Yeah. Okay. Let me just wipe everyone off quickly. Uh, I already wiped out Flana's. I'm going to have to put Flana back in. Oh, yeah, better. Uh, she had a nine before. I put that up as nine. And I got to roll for Cassidy. Yeah, and Serena's at the bottom of the list again. Serena's not fast. And sending well, she's a big... Dry- Oh, I need a smoke, if you don't mind. You need a what? I need to. I need to get up for a moment. She needs a smoke. Yep. Mm. <sighs> we'll just have Falana burn the forest down if you're still gone. All right. I'm. I can honestly control Falana for the time being, if that's fine. I don't know if she already went. I mean, Alana could just put it up for now. Hmm. Alana could. I cannot. I did not hear what you said, Risu. Avoid fire. All right. Okay. So yeah, I can take care of uh, Falana for now. I'll probably just have her use her bow. So Cassie will first off. She'll start off into this area, and she'll kind of 
going a little slow. She looks a little warily at all the spider webs that are everywhere nearby. Oh wait, what's else. Cassidy's movement speed? Actually, thirty. Probably thirty. Okay, thirty-five actually. Okay, oh. that's why I asked. It's the um, variant race I used for. Oh. And then at the forest, nothing happens. Alana. Uh, five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Actually, before I would have had Cassidy finish off, she would have cast a spell on herself. 